Good evening guys from another video here in Pakistan, specifically in Karachi, or at least by the end of this video, we're going to be in Lahore. I'm here with my bro Harry. Hello, hello. And we've got these nice gentlemen up front here from Pearl Continental. And actually where we're heading right now is we are going to the train station here in Karachi, and then we will be taking a 17 hour overnight sleeper train where Harry and I have a super cool cabin that Pearl Continental helped us book. They've totally gone out of their way to make sure we have such an easy transition going from city to city by picking up our train tickets at the train station, finding us the right cabin, and they're even sending these lovely two gentlemen with us to make sure we get on the train, get all of our luggage on there, and uh, navigate around uh, perfectly. So it's an amazing service, definitely another reason why you want to come stay at the Pearl Continental because they will literally do anything to make sure your stay is very comfortable. Anyways guys, we're going to cruise over to the train station, it's just a few minutes away, and then once we get to the station, I'll give you a quick view of what it looks like there before we do a tour of the train. So we'll see you over there. All right, guys, we are arriving to the train station now and it's very nicely lit up here. It's got a uh, grand entrance and oh, we got a tuk-tuk coming straight at us. And here we are. I'm so guys, we're here at the uh, train station. It's kind of lively here. It seems like a lot of people are going to be taking the train tonight. Oh, we got our bro here taking it on his head. Full Sendero. All right, this guy's the man. This is the way? All right. Yeah, our man's just totally hooking it up right now. He's got the bag up top and the bag around his shoulder. Strong man here in Pakistan. Hello, hello. This guy's hanging out in the back of the truck. Yeah, it's still quite busy around here. Seems like it's probably already time to board the train. Yeah, when we've got the uh, boys hooking it up with a personal escort, it's quick in, quick out. That's our train right there? Yeah. Perfect. All right, so it's here we arrived just in time. Oh, free drinking water up there. Ladies, gents. Doesn't seem like any's coming out at the moment. But uh, here we go. Excited to check out this train. First train ride here in Pakistan. And hopefully not the last. And this is it. All aboard, as they say, yeah? <laughs> we are excited. Uh, very excited. We're taking our first train ride here. We've got our man, personal escort, that's taking care of us, making sure we get there safely. Here's the train. Salam alaikum. So it seems like some of the cabins are a little darker. This one, uh, economy class here, doesn't seem like there's lights going on in there right now. We've got uh, the first set of sleeper bunks over here. Thank goodness we uh, have them helping us get to the train because there are a lot of cars we got to walk past to figure out which one to go to. And so we're cruising through here. It's quite busy. And the nice part is if you guys didn't bring anything to eat or drink, they've got some nice little snack shops right on the side here. That you can stop and uh, grab some refreshments because it is quite a long train ride. All right, looks like we're at the very end. Seems like the cabins have been getting nicer and nicer. These ones have a uh, door on them. It looks like as I peer through some of these windows, we got all oh, right there, business class. Oh, this is how we can climb on top of the train? No, I'm just kidding. This is the one. All right, entrance here. This is toilet. Oh, toilet right there, okay, sweet. And then, we've got... All right, seems like the cabins are filling up. Salam alaikum. Oh, this is it, yeah? Perfect, perfect. This looks identical to the one I stayed at in Basra. Shukriya. Bas, a push. Shukriya. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Can I take your picture of your ticket? Right. Now keep your mm -hmm. ticket, please. It's okay. totally you are don't allow anyone to enter in your nobody coming in. Nobody coming in right. because okay. he's totally Shamshad, here. thank you so much for Welcome everything. Sir. We really Welcome appreciate sir. it. Yeah, thank really you. good man Amazing here. Thank Definitely you, thank thanks you. so much. We hope thank to see you again one day, okay. inshallah. 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 Bye bye, Shamshad. Right. Okay. Yeah. Bye bye. Yeah, Shamshad, thank you. Thank you, Shamshad. Goodbye. All right, guys, we're actually going to take a quick step outside to get a snack before the train departs. Hopefully it doesn't take off on me. See if we can get a little snack right over here. See if they can hook it up. All right, what do they got going on over here? We're gonna need some water. We're gonna need some Coca-Cola. We're gonna need a little bit of everything. Salam alaikum. Could I have uh, Coca-Cola, a Sting, two large waters? Water. Uh, large, yep. Uh, what else we got in here? Something like that. Might as well just try a little bit of everything. What do you guys think? I'd say, I'd say that's not a bad idea. Just in case, might need to freshen up, boss. And I wonder what the total of this is gonna be. How much is that, boss? 
550. 550. Shukriya. Shukriya, yaar. All right, it's easy to get a couple snacks on the train and then we will reload back up. That was about $4.50, so $2.50 to get all of that stuff. So prices here are quite in our favor. Now we are walking back over to the train car, which I believe, which one is ours? I'm guessing this one must be ours. Is that Harry? Oh, wrong one. I almost completely forgot which train cars are ours. Let's scare Harry here. <laughs> there he is, the legend. Salam alaikum, yar. Salam alaikum. Bro, well, I literally was quite in, a feast on you. I was literally in the wrong train car. Like I got on and like the, the thing was closed and then I saw someone sitting over here. I was like, oh, maybe Harry like changed sides. And then I got on, the door was closed. I was like, the door was open when I left. Like, is it actually that? Like, is he actually in there? And I walked on and I walked to the next train car. You weren't there. I was like, all right, I'm lost. Then I called you and you don't have service. And I was like, oh, which one do I go to? And then I was like, it must be the closer train car. And then here he was just chilling. So guys, now that we did a little grocery shop and I'll give you the room tour. Actually, if you saw my video in Baghdad, from Baghdad to Basra, the $17 overnight sleeper train, that is almost the exact same style car. The only difference is it looks like we even have a fan up here, AC. We've got a window for peering out, but like in terms of amenities, quite similar. We've got lights here, we've got outlets, which is great. Harry's already charging up, getting ready for a long night of in the office here. Because oh, remember, yes. no days off. off. Exactly, exactly, bro. Then on the side over here, we got a ladder to climb up. Because keep in mind, this is a six person berth. So like you can see one bed's there. This thing actually pops down and it turns into another bed and up here as well. So that's the nice part is they are pretty spacious. The reason why we have this whole space is because we wanted some space to be able to work, get things done. So we did pay a little bit more. Basically, we paid for a six berth cabin, but it was weird how they charged us. The hotel went and took care of us. They sent a guy, but I guess sometimes it's a little sketchy when you're at the train stations. The guy who they were paying, you have to buy six individual seats and the guy charged us two adult tickets, one for me, one for Harry, and then four child's tickets. Basically, I guess he pocketed some of the money. So we paid a total of around like 36 thousand Pakistani rupees which I'll tell you exactly the price of that so 36,000 Pakistani rupees is about two hundred and five dollars so per person it came out to just over 100 US dollars for us to have the entire cabin now if you want to share this place with someone else you want to have like roommates random roommates if you don't have six friends to each book it the ticket that shows for an adult on the train is seven thousand four hundred and fifty Pakistani rupees, which is $42.60. I believe our friends who are flying up to Islamabad, which is obviously a separate city, we're going to Lahore, but in terms of like flight price comparisons, they're paying a similar amount to actually fly. So it's gonna be a 17 hour journey. Most people probably would prefer to take the flight, but for us, we wanna get the train experience. It also is like a kill two birds with one stone. Since we have the workspace here, we can get stuff done and we can just kind of like make another video and show you guys what train life is like. And then we'll probably show you what the flight life is like, how quick it is on our way back to Karachi at the end of this vlog series in a few weeks. Super excited for the train ride. I'll share with you guys updates. Maybe we'll do a little search, show you what the bathrooms look like so you get an idea for it. Maybe we'll see if we can find the kitchen. I was told to be concerned about eating the food on the train. So I don't know if we'll actually get some, but we'll at least go tour it, maybe get a chai from them, some tea and go from there. So uh, excited to have you guys with us exploring this train ride from Karachi to Lahore. Let's do it. Salam. Yeah, I just gave him a good old salam. <laughs> yeah, guys, the reason why I literally pull out the camera every single time is because when I was on the train from Baghdad to Basra, I had a gun pulled on me through the train door, even though it was, it was done as a joke. It was a real live loaded gun. It's a long story. And if you want to know that story, definitely check out the video. It's called $17 crazy train in Iraq. And so that explains my entire time. But now anytime someone knocks on the door here on my way up to Lahore, immediately I get the camera out and I walk up to the door. Salam. Uh, no, thank you. Shukriya. Ticket, ticket. Ticket. I got a ticket for you. Ticket ki saath. Uh, no, thank you. Ticket. Ticket. Uski saath. No, thank you. We, we've got our own waters. Shukriya. Ticket. Dinner. Dinner? No, thank you. No, kori. No, thank you. So the thing is, is we actually have no idea if that guy works 
for the train company or if he was selling stuff because he was just like insisting. I thought he was saying ticket, but he was saying take it, I think. Because I showed him the ticket, he's like, no, take it, take it. He was just selling us some waters. I was like, no, bro, we got some. And then he's like, we got curry. So it's like, there's no menu on the train or anything, I don't think. So like, that's something hanging up, but we're just kind of going with the flow, guys. It's as much of a surprise for us as it is for you. So I don't know what to expect and neither do you guys. So definitely stick around to the end of this video so we can both find out. Hello, salam alaikum. Ticket? Yeah. Ab kaisa hai? Shukriya Yar. They were so confused when I called him Yar. Because <laughs> Yar is what you say to like your best friend. <laughs> so the guy just looked up at me. You can tell he's one of the guys that's just like a very serious person. And he's like, and he gives just a light smile. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, we're bros, my guy. And uh, we're drinking a nice drink to get us going, guys. It's time to transition over to laptop relaxation. We got Harry grinding away while wow, full speed ahead. <laughs> and here we go. Salam Malik. Salam Malik. Uh, Two. No, he doesn't understand. He thinks you want to buy those. Uh, chai, chai water clean. Clean, clean water. He doesn't understand. Okay. All right, we. I'll take one cup of coffee. Co coffee and chai. One coffee, chai. one chai. Shukri. Yeah, perfect. Sorry. Oh, guys, this is what happens when you're on the sleeper train. You get a little loopy. Why do you think I'm getting another cup of Joe? Our man's brought us a little coffee uh, and a little tea. How much do we owe you, Chai? Coffee. Chai. Coffee much? and chai. How much money? 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 How much? 200? 300. Shukriya, my friend. Shukriya, shukriya. Guys, here we go. We've got the uh, coffee delivered. We're going to give it a little shot here. Let's get some sugar. Toss it right up top there. I think it's probably cooled down enough for me to sip on it. Because when they first brought it in, I could just see it steaming and I was not ready. Cheers. So to put it in perspective for you guys what it costs to get a coffee or a tea, it's 100 Pakistani rupees. So I think we can toss him a little extra, you know, and make his day. And uh, 100 rupees is... Salam alaikum, yaar. So 100 rupees is about 56 cents. Not a bad price to have fresh coffee on the train. Delivered right to your cabin. So as you guys can kind of see out there, it's about 12.40 a.m. This is one of the stops. We were here for about, I don't know, maybe five to 10 minutes. I think it depends on the city we're in. That's what we were told before we got on the train that some stops are longer than others, but they do like the last minute before they leave, they're like honking the horn. So I don't think it's that easy to get stuck behind. We already picked up snacks at the first place because we didn't really have an idea what it's going to be like. But yeah, the nice part is if you forget to get snacks, there's multiple stops along the way every couple hours. I don't remember exactly how many stops there were total, but I want to say it's under 10. But it varies depending on the train line you're on. I think we're on the green line. Actually, I can confirm that. Oh, Harry says we are. Yeah, yeah green line. I just checked the ticket. Yeah, keep in mind because if you're on a different train, you might have a completely different experience. Maybe they use different railways. I actually don't know. So guys, there was no lie that uh, we need to have a little snack time. Oh, these are going to be messy. These were one of the snacks that I picked up. They're called toques. Hmm. Not bad. Just kind of like plain crackers, but you know, when it's it's 12:54 a.m., so it's one in the morning. Sometimes you just need a little something, something to fill that stomach void. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Well, might as well show you all everything. So we're gonna go make a cruise down to the bathroom. Show you what it's like down there. Oh, looks like out here they've even got little chill spots for people to come. I guess get out of their cabin, do something a little different. Uh, excuse me. Salam alaikum. All right, we made it through, and we're looking for the El Banyu, the bathroom. This looks like the toilet. All right, so one has opened up. It's got a lock on it. It's a little dirty though, but hey, it's better than nothing, right? There is soap, there is stuff to clean. But honestly, just touching some of this stuff is a little gross, so you might want to bring your own hand sanitizer. It's kind of loud. I don't know how well you guys can hear me, but that is the uh, tour. Now I need to go get me some uh, hand sanitizer after going in there. We're heading back to the cabin now. And I think it's just about time to get some shut eye, guys. I don't know about you, but uh, it's time. We got the uh, the legend still grinding in here. No days off. No days off, guys. It's early 2 a.m. 2 a.m. already. Full sender Ito. Oh, guys, I think it's time to get a little shut eye. It's 2 a.m. Got a couple more videos ready for you guys. Uh, pretty tired. 
I actually got a pillow on here, but I don't know if it's clean or not, so I just used my jacket. It made it a little more comfy anyways. Train cars do have a blanket, so I got a blanket on there. Yeah, enough to get the job done, I'd say. So I'll see you guys when I wake up. I'm probably gonna look super tired, so get ready for that. Good night. And good morning, guys. Bright and early from 7.59. We are up. We got Harry over there chilling. Morning, morning. We definitely didn't get up by choice. We'll put it that way. We thought the door was locked. All of a sudden, we had a guy come in and yell, Nashta, Nashta. This shade was closed, so as you can see, it was it's almost a blackout curtain where you really can't see much. Door comes wide open. He's got a breakfast plate ready to go. He had some eggs on there, and what else, Harry? Just eggs and bread. Eggs and bread. But for me, I'm not not looking to take the risk of trying out the uh, train food. So we politely declined and we popped it open and now we're, we're cruising. Pakistani train side. I must say it's wild to see this because when you look outside, you can see the layers of smog in the distance. And here we've got locals, they're doing some farming. Like this is an experience. The cool part is when you wake up in the morning, it's like a whole other experience because last night when we had the, you know, when we got on the train, we were chilling. I mean, it was pitch black, you couldn't see anything, and now it's almost a new adventure today. We'll watch and see if anything exciting comes up and fill you in as we go. As you guys can see, we've got the other views on this side of the train car. Salam alaikum, yar. We're actually uh, out here Looking to see what the views are like on this side. And our boy down there's got coffees. And as you guys can see with my eyes, I need a coffee or a tea. We got the lad over here grinding away in his sleep. Oh, it's asleep at half three. Oh, wow. Yeah. So we just woke up the lad. Salam. Good morning. Good morning, my friend. Uh, sorry. I just yelled at that guy because I thought he was the coffee guy. But I'm gonna see if I can find our other guy. He doesn't really speak much English. Let's see if we can find our coffee man. Hey brother, can we get uh, two more coffees? No coffee. Two coffees. Yeah. Uh, 300 good? Shukriya down there? Yeah. Alright, Shukriya Yar. So the good news is guys, we were able to score the coffee, so it's gonna come and deliver them. It's a little loud in here, you have it? We're crossing over the tracks. Ooh. And so I think that next one over is probably like in between a business class and economy class because there were sleeper trains, but it seems like the cabins were a bit smaller, maybe not as nice. Hello Yar, I five Yar. There we go. Two coffees in route. Let's go, baby. Yeah, Harry's quote is no days off and he's living by it. Even getting a time lapse going. Said skip sleep. Woke up or went to bed at 3 30 a.m. is already back I'm up, filming. Come up guys. Let's go. Let's go. That's how you get to a million subs. <laughs> Inshallah. <laughs> Inshallah. So one thing I'll add guys is apparently this train like says it has Wi-Fi. This whole time it says Pakistan Railways. But the problem is the Wi-Fi doesn't work. Sometimes the service works on the phone. No, I haven't seen it go any faster than 3G, but it's really like very spotty. Like if you, whenever like near a stop or what I would guess to be a pretty decent sized city, then we'll have a little bit of signal coming in. But other than that, it's a signal free ride here. And Harry doesn't even have signal. I'm detoxing from all uh, Wi-Fi anyway, so. It's nice to just oh. smash some work out. Yep, get it done, get caught up. Yeah, oh wow, this landscape is crazy. Yeah, you're really getting a full view of what it's like out here in the villages as you kind of just cruise through. Way out in rural Dankistan. Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So guys, we're pulling up to uh, the next train station. It seems like train's been slowly slowing down because I don't know if you know anything about trains, but they take like many kilometers actually to come to a complete stop. Just because, I mean, this is probably 20, 30 train cars. 
because remember us walking past them last night when we boarded the cars. It's uh, interesting to come across these places though. As you can see, like we're in rural Pakistan. Would be amazing to visit these places, meet some locals. So I find, you know, in some of these really rural places you meet, you know, extremely pure people and also people that haven't experienced too many people from outside of Pakistan. So, you know, I know the few places I've been to in some of these countries, they're just f so far disconnected from um, you know, a lot of the outside worlds, a lot of outside of their village areas, you go to these places and just have these insane experiences meeting people. And it's both in, like insane in a good way for them and for us as travelers. And so you can see, it seems like we're coming across uh, gardens and parks. Very nice looking. Oh, are those our Joes? Our guy never came back with the Joes. I'm gonna go searching for our guy. And I paid him for two Joes and he never showed. Where's our guy with those two coffees? The coffee man. Ah, uh, our man's got two Joes coming through. Two Joes coming right up. Ah, uh, shukriya yar. We came just in time, bro. Look what we got. De oh. Special delivery. Shukriya, shukriya. Thank you. Oh yeah, two freshly oh. brewed. Cups of Joe. It's time to wake up, guys. Uh huh, uh huh. It is time. Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. Would you like breakfast? Uh, no, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. Okay. Thank shukriya. you. Coffee. Shukriya. Shukriya. Oh yeah, coffee. delicious coffee. And thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. Very kind people. Looking at some breakfast, coffee, whatever we need. This is great. Nice experience on the train. A lot of people were like that. We were told we were taking the train. We we're like. It's 17 hours, why are you gonna do that? And I'm, I'm having a good time. Like, I, If the train ride ended right now, I'd actually be like bummed out. Because we're like sleeping, we're chilling, we're filming, we're meeting locals, we're catching up on videos. Like it just checks all the boxes, guys. Hey guys, it's time to go get those pearly whites brushed. And uh, the kit you need, your toothbrush, your toothpaste, and some clean water. That is for sure. Let's see if we got one of these open for business. Looks like it. Lock this. Here's what we got going on, guys. So basically, we gotta like, get a little water in the mouth. And then you got your toothpaste to go. And that's about how it works, guys. Toothpaste back in the pocket. Get her going. And that, guys, is the process to brush your teeth on the train. Just make sure you're using your own bottled water, because if you're not, Salam alaikum. Because if you're not using your own water, then you'll run into the issue where you might get sick on the train here. So, how's that phone? Good stuff? Yeah? Sweet, sweet. Now we're heading back to the cabin. Looks like we just made another quick pit stop out here. It looked kind of modern at first glance. As you can see, we got a couple locals there. Let's give them a quick wave. Hello. Nope, not too friendly there. There they are. Gentlemen, oh, we tried, we tried guys. We've actually got some locals hanging here on the uh, on the train tracks. Careful out there boys, could be trains coming. Be safe. Oh, we're passing a huge graveyard right now. We've got all the locals out here hanging out on the tracks. All right guys, we're passing another train right here. Full speed ahead. That looks like it's more of a cargo train. Here we are, the landscapes on the other side. Lots and lots of farmland here in central Pakistan. I'm not entirely sure the types of crops. Maybe that's corn out there. Honestly, it looks like it. But I'm definitely no agricultural uh, expert. Oh, there's some nice people out there hanging out. You guys, though, I will mention, uh, just so you know, there are so many options to get food while you're on the train. It's kind of been like so spur of the moment, so we haven't really filmed it, but like this morning, like super early at 8 a.m., I think we did mention it, we just didn't show you, like they had breakfast, there was lunch, I think there was like chicken and fries, like all for purchase, and I'm sure it's a pretty good price. We were just told like, hey, be careful eating this stuff on the train, and we bought a bunch of snacks, so it's enough to get us through the entire time, and maybe the food's fine if your stomach's used to it, but you know, like if our stomachs are not used to maybe some of the bacteria that's just normal here, you know, it's risky, so we're skipping it. One thing I was gonna mention is the nice part is when you're on a sleeper train all day, it makes it a little more okay to take a nap. So I think it's time to take a little lights out, catch a few more Z's. Oh guys, and we're up for a nice morning nap and we got, looks like we have a stop here, we got our bro, just chilling. 
What's going on over here, bro? How we doing? Hello? Should I knock? Yeah, knock. Hello? Wow, look at this, guys. We started moving again, <clears throat> and this is all like corn. I think it's already like maybe it's harvested corn that maybe it was used to feed animals. I can't really tell. Comment below if you guys know. I'm not much of an expert in it, but it's pretty cool to see the changing landscapes the further north we go. So, guys, just to kind of give you a, a perspective of where we're at. So, we started down here in Karachi and we just passed Multan. So, we're actually quite close to Lahore. You see, like, we're just on, I guess, the final stretch. So, maybe we will get there right at 4.30 because the guy I was speaking to last night was saying that sometimes it's delayed like an hour and an hour and a half so I was just thinking it was going to be much later but maybe not. All right we're going to go explore the train this way based on Harry's recommendation. Here. We've got rice. It looks like we've got curry in there, and it's a good process here. Basically, he gets the tray ready. He puts some of the uh, naan on there. It looks like the naan, the bread. He's doing scoop number one, scoop number two. We got the legend right here doing scoop number three, and then he's basically getting it ready with uh, saran wrap, stacking it, and he finishes it off here, and then he passes it on to the runner. So that means we've got one, two, three, four, five, six people in the process, and you're the manager. Uh, Supervisors, very nice. So it's a good operation. Yeah, shukriya, shukriya. Oh yeah, that was loud in there, but definitely a cool experience. And it's so efficient how they have it set up. The like the assembly line way of preparing all the food. They basically cook it in bulk in those kettles, and then they have it ready to go as people order it. Uh, cash payments only on the train, and that's how it goes. Guys, I do not recommend going out there though. But yeah, guys, I do not recommend putting your head out the window there. Oh my gosh. No food for us. Shukriya, shukriya. Two coffees. Do you want a coffee? Chai. Uh, one chai, one coffee? Chai, me. One chai, one coffee. Perfect. But yeah, guys, what I was saying here is, <laughs> oh my gosh, that's like so dangerous. Like, you should really not put your head out the window. It's Harry's idea. I put my camera just out slightly, and then I moved my hat. And then it flew right off my head like that. And like the guy's like, whoa, 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 be careful, be careful. And then I like put my camera out slightly and we went past a pole that brushed alongside of my GoPro. I was like, if my head would have been out there, I would literally be decapitated. So when they say don't put your head outside of the train, there's a reason. So we're getting pretty close to Lahore. I'd say somewhere around two hours out, but we must be in a relatively large sized city because we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 sets of tracks here. And then there might be some on the other side. I just can't see out the window over there, guys. But we're at a station just outside of Sahiwal, which I would say, yeah, is roughly two more hours if I were to guess on the train. And we're there. We missed the good part, guys, but... Uh, uh, as we got some money for you, boss. Don't worry, it just came in saying, money, money. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, they just came in saying money, 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 money. And they had a smile on that face. Yeah. yeah, so like someone must have told them that we're the tipping masters. <laughs> <laughs> Which like you can't blame them. But like they kept trying to come in here and sweep and like Harry was filming the guy when he was sweeping. He was just trying to like like Harry wasn't trying to like do anything bad, but maybe the guy perceived it wrong. Harry was just trying to show like what are all the services that you get when you're staying in these train cars and then like he kind of like maybe got worried and then left the car which is cool and all then he came back tried to sweep again but oh don't worry about it we don't need any cleaning like the place is clean and then his other buddy comes in and just says money 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 and i was like well if we're giving you money you at least got to let us film so we can share the services with the followers and viewers so busted <laughs> hello hello salam alaikum What's your name? Maz. Maz and? Ali. Maz and Ali. My name is Mac Harry. Macbook. Macbook. Yeah, my name is Mac, like Macbook. Macbook. Uh, yeah, Macbook. Salam alaikum, Yar. Salam. How are you? Good, and you? Good. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you too. I work outside of Pakistan also. Ah, where do you work? Yeah, in Iraq. In Iraq? Yeah. Oh, about which part? Basra. Uh, Basra. I was in Basra uh, yeah. one month ago. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, yeah. Basra is a nice place. Yeah. Very nice people. Yeah. So you uh, speak a little Arabic? Shway Shway Arabic? Yeah, Shway Shway Arabic. Yeah. Kifak. Yeah, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Mashallah. Yeah. Zain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Zain. Yeah, Good. Zain is Iraqi dialect. Yeah, Iraqi. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. nice. Where are you going to? Islamabad or Lahore? Yeah, we're going to Islamabad. Oh, so you have a long train of left. Yeah. yeah, we're going to Lahore. Yeah. Near, yeah, it's nice. Zane? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Perfect, perfect. So, you, you are tourist or? Like? Uh, YouTubers. Ah, YouTubers. Uh, yeah, what's yeah. your channel name? Uh, the business card. Uh, perfect. Got the uh, handy dandy business card oh, so you can find both of our very channels. Good, very good. Yeah, very good. Nice very to good. meet you guys. Uh, yeah. Take care. Yeah, yeah, nice to meet all of you guys. Yeah. Goodbye, my friend. Bye bye. 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 The card? Give my card. One card for you and one card for you. Thank you. Thank you. Like and subscribe. Okay. See that bro? That's how we just got two new subs. Yes, boy. Oh, you got food for us. Shukriya, but no thank you. Mm, I've got a gift for you. Yep, crackers for you. Shukriya, my friend. That's very kind of you. I'll try one. Harry too. Chow, chow for Harry. You scared me there. Mm. Mm. <laughs> no, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> He's being force fed. Delicious, shukriya. Shukriya, yeah. For you. Mm -hmm. Take that one with you to Islamabad. Mm -hmm. Enjoy, sakhten. See you, bye bye. Bye bye, gentlemen. Bye. You go to Lahore? Lahore? Oh. Yes. All right, see you in Lahore. Bye. Goodbye, guys. What nice little kids. They came and fed us. Literally, like, the kindness I tell you guys in Pakistan it just blows my mind. Like, doesn't matter the age you are, if you're a young child or if you're an old timer or if you're middle aged, everyone's just like super, super kind here. Like, they just fed us chips. That was unbelievable. You can't make these things up, guys. You just got to come to Pakistan to experience it. So guys, this long 17 hour journey is coming to an end pretty soon here. We're actually on the outskirts of Lahore right now. As you can see now out the window from what you've seen earlier in the video. Oh wow, yeah, we have a lot of trash out here. Lots and lots of trash. But what I was gonna say here is, you can see that it's a lot more uh, developed rather than like what we've been seeing. Most of the ride, which is a lot of like cornfields, I wanna guess it's cornfields, agricultural fields, let's say for better words. Now we're really starting to see those city vibes. Yeah, wow, we just passed that train crosswalk or the, uh, the path across the road and there were so many cars lined up. So I bet this is gonna be another very busy city like uh, Karachi was. Yeah, we'll see you guys there in about 10 minutes. Excited to arrive. Luckily we're arriving right before sunset, so we'll be able to see a small glimpse the city upon arrival. So guys, we're arriving right into the city center of Lahore. All these houses right here are basically built up right around the track, so you can really have like a look directly into what the daily life is like here, just from right here. Yeah, we must be pulling up to the station right now because as you see, we just split into one, two, three, four sets of tracks on this side. Wow, what a 
it's a, just a goat hanging out in the middle of the train tracks. There's multiple of them. And the other one's laying on the ground. <laughs> Goats can't get up if they fall over. Oh, really? I don't know. I just made oh, that up. oh, yeah, I was going to say, geez, that's not going to be good. He's going to be turning into a kebab. He's going to be turning into a kebab. Assalamu <laughs> alaikum. <laughs> 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 Looks like we got our visitors. I'm guessing it's our friends okay. coming to say bye. Hello, hello. 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 Now is departure time, yes? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet nice you, to good meet sir. You. It's a pleasure. Inshallah, what we meet again. Doing Mac, have a safe journey. Enjoy your time. Enjoy Islamabad. I am going to Lahore. You're going, oh, to, you're going Lahore. to Lahore? Oh, come ah, on then. Ah, nice. Yalla. You got the Yalla right, bina, boys. You got the right language. <laughs> <laughs> Until next time, goodbye, my friends. And here we are, guys. It's getting darker because we're pulling into the train station right now. That means we have arrived. All right, here we go. Ah. 17 hours later, welcome to Lahore, bro. How are you feeling? It feels good to be here, guys. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. How do we get out of here? Hello. Hello. Take care, good sir. My friend. Shukriya, ya. Shukriya, shukriya. Goodbye. Goodbye. The exit's this way, yeah? Thank okay. you. Oh, there we go. Thank Sign you. says way out and Lahore. Good news is, guys, you got toilets right there at the station, too, if you need to go. Most of the signs are actually in English here. So you got family waiting room, you got way out up there. So that's good news. Makes it easy to navigate. All right, nice big uh, entryway in here. Keep the place nice and clean. That's great. And now we're looking for our driver. Hello. What's your name? You're, uh, you're uh, Wasim? Uh, Lahore? No. Uh, hey, Wasim, is this your guy right here? So yeah, yeah, he's already there. I passed on his number. Did, did you connect with him? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm try I, I'm not sure if the guy that's in front of me is your guy or if it's a random guy trying to drive us. Okay, so recognition you can give me so that I can pass on him and it can, uh, we can talk with you or you can... I am wearing uh, a baseball cap and I have a jacket on. So I'm guessing neither neither of these neither of these guys are them because they, they wouldn't recognize me. Goodbye guys. And so guys, that was our 17 hour cruise. Such a great time riding on the train today and really enjoyed it. So if you like the adventures of riding the train, I would recommend you guys to do it and rent the whole cabin. It is for sure the way to do it. And so guys, if you've enjoyed that video, make sure to hit that thumbs up. And if you wanna see more videos, both here in Pakistan and all around the world, make sure to hit that subscribe button below. And we'll see you guys in tomorrow's video as we start exploring Lahore.